What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, and today I'm back to talk to you about Warhammer 40k. But before I dive into what this video is all about, I gotta let you guys know to check out Astartes Part 5, the last installment to the awesome fan animation that is Astartes is now out, and boy oh boy did it raise some pretty awesome questions. First and foremost, Thank you for the awesome animation. Um, as far as I know, you are a single person working on this, and you blew it out of the water. This is some great stuff. Uh, we really are blessed to have so many talented fans in the Warhammer 40k universe that have done some really awesome animations. Death of Hope, Hell's Reach, uh, what is it, Inquisitor, Lord Inquisitor? The list just goes on and on. and. Uh, yeah, this is by far some really great stuff. I don't want to spoil anything, so link will be down in the description below. Also, if you want to watch it and react alongside Gersh1, he did do a reaction to it, so please, please, please check it out. Links are down in the description. But anyway, this video is all about a rediscovery of faith. I found God at the corner of Fifth and Lamistad. That's from a uh, really cheesy song. I don't know why I said that, <laughs> because today um, we are talking about the Tao trying to seduce a, uh, uh, to put it simply, a world that is controlled by the Imperium over to their side. This is a short, short little excerpt in the Psychic Awakening of the Greater Good, uh, where the Tao, the Gene Stealer cults, and the Astra Militarum are all fighting it out. And this is just a little like break in the action, and I wanted to share it with you. So if you guys would be kind enough to uh, lend me some of your time during this crazy, crazy era in our lives, here it is. A Rediscovery of Faith. The Tao first came to Hayfos at the height of the fighting against the Gene Stealer cult uprisings. Making their diplomatic overtures to Governor Hadiar directly, they explained that they were of the water caste, one of the five castes that make up their race. They identified Hayfos' new threat as the Gene Stealer cults, explaining in great detail how the Tao had engaged them on other worlds, and how they wished to form a partnership with Imperial governors to defeat this most terrible of threats. At this time, Hediar was desperate. Everything she had ever known appeared to be crashing down all around her, and her armies were nearly bled dry by myriad of foes. The stars of the night skies had changed beyond all recognition. The Imperium was out of her reach. The proposal from the Xenos was a very tempting one. They spoke persuasively, offering victory, peace, and prosperity everything Hadiar had desired so very much. However, she questioned what the Imperium had ever done for her, what it was doing for her now, and she was prepared to acquiesce to their offer when tidings were brought to her from an Imperial priest who had miraculously survived against a terrific battle. The priest spoke of a Xenos foe that fought with advanced weaponry while clad in enormous war suits. They had killed Imperial soldiers and gene stealer cultists with equal impunity. Upon hearing this, Hadiar spurned the Tao's offer of allegiance, stating empathetically that her loyalty to the Emperor was second to nothing, and that she was a woman without price. She decreed the duplicity of aliens, and vowed that all would be wiped from the face of Hephos. Hatiar saw the priest's survival as a message, a sign from the Emperor himself. Her faith restored, she took to directing the campaign for Hephos with renewed vigor. And there you have it guys, a rediscovery of faith, aka Humanity being two-faced. <laughs> uh, well, I guess you could say the Tower being kind of sneaky, too. 
Uh, so the Tao basically stepped in as like a smooth talking salesman, you know, buttering her up, saying, hey, we some Tao, we aliens, we know that. But you and me, we got one thing in common. We got to get rid of these guys over here. The icky, the sticky, the vile, the voluptuous gene stealer cults. Because nobody likes a cult nowadays, or do they? And she was like, you know what, Tao? You guys are smelling what I'm cooking. And you guys are cooking something mighty fierce. However, that's when this jive walking priest comes in saying, Girl, don't listen to those blue faces. I'm going to tell you how it really is. They are weeaboos. They get on top of their mechs and they're killing the gene stealer cults. Yeah, they write about that. But what they didn't tell you is that they're killing us too. And boom, mic drop. She was like, you know what? I never was going to join you guys. I was just pulling your leg this whole time. I believe in the God Emperor, and he believes in me, and we believe that you got to get out of here. Because I got a Glock behind me, and this Glock won't stop until you lie lying dead on the ground. So the Tao left, but they came back in force. And boy, did they start a war. And that war is described in Psychic Awakening the Greater Good. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know exactly what this uh, video is, what it's becoming, what it will be. But what I do know is, go watch a Stardy. Stop listening to this video, go watch a Stardy right now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, two-faced Tao, two-faced humans, you know, nothing really changes at the end of the day. Let me know what you guys think. Go watch a Stardy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Quarantine does weird things to you, man. I'll tell you that. Stay safe. And, uh, yeah. This is the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate. And I'll catch you once. Catch you once. Catch you guys in the next one. Tripping over my words. Peace.